The modern day character and the historical status of women in Denmark has been influenced by their own involvement in women's movements and political participation in the history of Denmark. Their mark can be seen in the fields of politics, women's suffrage, and literature, among others. History The legal, civilian and cultural status of women in prehistoric society during the Stone Age, Bronze Age and Iron Age in Scandinavia are somewhat obscure, but from Viking Age sources we know that women were relatively free, compared to men, contemporary societies and the later Middle Ages, with the gradual introduction of Catholicism in Scandinavia in the early Middle Ages, women's rights were increasingly regulated and restricted. During the Middle Ages, the legal rights of women in Denmark were regulated by the county laws, the Landskapslovin from the 13th century, and therefore varied somewhat between different counties, however, a married woman was generally under the guardianship of her spouse. Sons and daughters both had right to inheritance, though sisters inherited half of the portion of a brother, the cities were regulated by the city laws. With the exception of widows, who inherited the right to the trade of her late spouse, women was not allowed membership in the guilds, which monopolized most professions in the cities. However, in practice, it was very common for women, whether married or not, to be granted dispensation to manage a minor business for the sake of her own support, and become a kobakwan business woman, a custom which continued until women were given the same rights as men within commerce in 1857. The Civil Code of 1683, or Christian V, S. Dansky Love, also enacted in in the Danish province of Norway as the Civil Code of 1687 or Christian versus Norske Love, defined all unmarried females regardless of age as minors under the guardianship of their closest male relative, and a married woman under the guardianship of her spouse, while only widows were of legal majority. This code was in effect until the 19th century. In 1857, unmarried women were given legal majority, while married women were given the same right in 1899. Girls were included as pupils in the first attempt of a public elementary school system in 1739, though this attempt was not fully realized until 1814. From the 1780s, schools for secondary education for females were established in the capital of Copenhagen, though female teachers were only allowed to teach girls or very small boys. One of the first schools for females of any note was the Dotreskal in AF 1791, and in the 1840s, schools for girls spread outside the capital and a net of secondary education girl schools was established in Denmark. In 1875, women were given access to university education. In the reformed law of access in 1921, women were formally given access to all professions and positions in society with the exception of some military and clerical positions and the position of judge given in 1936. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Women's movement. There had been two major periods of women's movement in Denmark. The first one was from 1870 to 1920. The second was from 1970 to 1985. The first women's movement was led by the Dansk Kvindesamfund, Danish Women's Society. Line Luplau was one of the most notable women in this era. Tejia Brandt was also part of this movement, and in her honor was established Tejia Brandt Regselegate or Travel Scholarship for Women. The Dansk Kvindesamfund's efforts as a leading group of women for women led to the existence of the revised Danish constitution of 1915, giving women the right to vote and the provision of equal opportunity laws during the 1920s, which influenced the present-day legislative measures to grant women access to education, work, marital rights and other obligations. The second wave of women's movement was organized with the Rodstrompebiavegelsen, the Red Stocking Movement. The effort led to institutionalized feminism managed directly by the Danish government and to the mainstreaming of equal opportunities between Danish men and women. Topic. Women's suffrage Women in Denmark gained the right to vote on 5 June 1915, the Danish Women's Society DK debated, and informally supported, women's suffrage from 1884, but it did not support it publicly until in 1887, when it supported the suggestion of the parliamentarian Frederick Bodger to grant women municipal suffrage. 
In 1886, in response to the perceived overcautious attitude of D.K. in the question of women's suffrage, Matilda Bodger founded the Kavendelig Freskritsforning or K.F. 1886–1904 to deal exclusively with the right to suffrage, both in municipal and national elections, and in 1887, the Danish women publicly demanded the right for women's suffrage for the first time through the K.F. However, as the KF was very much involved with workers' rights and pacifist activity, the question of women's suffrage was in fact not given full attention, which led to the establishment of the strictly women's suffrage movement Kvindevelgretsforningen 1889-1897. In 1890, the KF and the Kvindevelgretsforeningen united with five women's trade workers' unions to found the Desamlied Kvindeforeninger, and through this form, an active women's suffrage campaign was arranged through agitation and demonstration. However, after having been met by compact resistance, the Danish suffrage movement almost discontinued with the dissolution of the Desamlied Kvindeforeninger in 1893. In 1898, an umbrella organization, the Danske Kvindeforeningers Valgretsforbund or DKV, was founded and became a part of the International Woman Suffrage Alliance. In 1907, the Landsforbundet for Kvinders Valgre was founded by Ilna Munch, Joanne Rambisch, and Marie Hagelmer in reply to what they considered to be the much too careful attitude of the Danish Women's Society. The LKV originated from a local suffrage association in Copenhagen, and like its rival LKV, it successfully organized other such local associations nationally. Women won the right to vote in municipal elections on April 20, 1908. However, it was not until June 5, 1915, that they were allowed to vote in Rigsdag elections. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Parliamentary appointments and elections. In 1918, a total of 12 Danish women were elected to the Danish parliament. Four of those women were elected to the lower house known as the Folketinget, while eight Danish women were elected to the upper house known as the Landstinget. In 1924, Nina Bang became the first female minister of Denmark, making Denmark the second country in the world to have a female minister. Jitta Andersen served as Minister of Employment from 1993 to 1998. Anderson was later appointed in 1998 as Senior Minister for Construction and Housing. In 1999, Anderson was appointed as the first Danish Minister on Gender Equality in 1999. A second female minister in Denmark was elected 20 years later, counting from 1924. Afterwards, in 2000, the female members of the government of Denmark increased to 45%. The first female mayor in Denmark was Eva Madsen, who became mayor of Stege in 1950. Topic. Family life As in many other Western countries, the connection between childbirth and marriage has been significantly weakened since the later half of the 20th century. As of 2016, 54% of births were to unmarried women. During the 1960s and 70s, Denmark was one of the first European countries to change its social norms towards accepting unmarried cohabitation and childbearing, at a time when this was still seen as unacceptable in many other parts of the continent. Topic. Reproductive rights and sexuality The maternal mortality rate in Denmark is 12 deaths, 100,000 live births as of 2010. Although this is low by international standards, it is higher than in many other Western countries, and it has increased in recent years. Abortion laws were liberalized in 1973, allowing the procedure to be done on demand during the first 12 weeks, and in specific circumstances at later stages of the pregnancy. Denmark's HIV AIDS rate is 0.2% of adults aged 15 to 49. Estimates of 2009, the total fertility rate TFR in Denmark is 1.73 children born woman. 2014 estimates, which, although below the replacement rate, is one of the highest in Europe. Denmark provides for sex education in schools. The age of consent in Denmark is 15. Denmark has a reputation of being open with regards to sexuality, perhaps due to historical factors, such as being the first country to abolish censorship and legalize pornography in 1967. However, today the Danish pornography industry is minimal compared to many other countries, with large-scale production of pornography having moved to other countries. <inaudible> <inaudible> Violence against women 
The issues of violence against women and domestic violence are controversial, according to a 2014 study published by the European Union Agency for Fundamental Rights. Denmark had the highest prevalence rate of physical and sexual violence against women in Europe. Denmark has also received harsh criticism for inadequate laws in regard to sexual violence in a 2008 report produced by Amnesty International, which described Danish laws as inconsistent with international human rights standards. This led to Denmark reforming its sexual offences legislation in 2013. Denmark has also ratified the Convention on Preventing and Combating Violence Against Women and Domestic Violence. A 2010 Eurobarometer poll on violence against women found that victim-blaming attitudes are common in Denmark. 71% of Danes agreed with the assertion that the provocative behaviour of women was a cause of violence against women, well above the 52% European average. Topic. Notable Danish women Topic. Suffrage and politics Among notable female Danes was Matilda Bodger, who, together with her husband Frederick Bodger, founded the Danish Women's Society in 1871, the oldest women's rights organization in the world. Another notable Danish woman was Lise Norgaard b. 1917, a Danish author and journalist during the 1930s and the 1940s. She authored the autobiographical books such as The Kuhn en Pige, Just a Girl, 1992 and De Senta en Dame, They Sent a Lady, 1993. Another notable Danish woman was Line Luplau, who achieved national fame in 1887 when she supported the cause to grant women to vote during local elections. Topic. Literature In literature, one of the most notable female literary writers in Denmark was Karen Blixen She was also known by the pseudonyms Isak Dinesen and Tanya Blixen. Blixen was the author of The Seven Gothic Tales a collection of short stories, which she wrote at the age of 49. Topic. Women pioneers This lists the women firsts in different subjects in chronological order. First female university student, Joanne Glerup and Nielsen Nielsen, 1877. First female medical doctor, Nielsen Nielsen, 1885. First female dentist, Nicolene Mahler, 1888. First female engineer, Agnes Klingberg and Betsy Meyer, 1897. First female government minister, Nina Bang, 1924. First female mayor, Eva Madsen, 1950. First female ambassador, Bottle Begtrip, 1955. First female fighter pilot, Line Bond, 2006. First female imam, Sharon Kankin, 2015. First female general, Lone Trehold, 2016 Topic. See also List of Danes Danish Women's Society The Danish Girl, a novel Kvindemuseit Danish Centre for Research on Women and Gender Topic. References Topic. External links Denmark